Ladies and gentlemen, please be outstanding for the manning of the Carnival Party. Day, 57 years ago, HMAS Voyager collided with HMAS Melbourne, 90 nautical miles southeast of Port Perpendicular, resulting in the loss of 82 of our shipmates and changing their lives forever. Tonight, we are gathered here to remember those lost, the family and the friends that have suffered, and also 82 of the survivors that have passed away since the accident. The most recent being Desmond Richard Ellis, who passed away in April last year. Our thoughts are with their families on this evening. We cannot and will never forget them. A prayer for our neighbour. Eternal Lord God, you spread out the heavens and rule the raging sea. We commend to you all those who serve in our Navy. Guard and protect them. Sustain them in loneliness. Give them courage in danger, patience in waiting, discipline in the just use of force. Help us to seek all people the freedom to serve you and each other in compassion and peace. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Now the reading from Psalm 107. Some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the great waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, his wondrous works in the sea. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves on the sea. They mounted up to heaven, they went down to the depths, their courage and their the They reeled and staggered like drunken men when we're at their wit's end. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful work for the sons of men. Pray the word our Saviour has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. And to thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. of the reefs will now take place.
Work has been owed to the men who will never sail again. The men who in the glory of their proud spirits and the unself unselfishness and madness of their own heroism have reached their harbour on the other side. May peace and tranquility be theirs always. They have no grave of the cruel sea, no flowers lay at their heads. A rusty colt is their tombstone for fast on the ocean bed. With proud thanksgiving, let us remember our people lost at sea. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
sleep long, sleep, sleep well. Rest be calm, the ocean is well. God will provide your silent proof, remembered well by those who knew. Granted them, O Lord, may perpetual light shine upon them, may they rest in peace. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all those we love, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's go in the peace of Christ. I think there's probably a few people in the room who knew of Chief Jonathan Buck Rogers. Of course, in the in the cafeteria, Buck, I uh, think everyone who knows earned his George Cross for the leadership and strength that he showed at a time of great peril. And he said, I'm sorry, lads, we're done for. And when he says that, he started singing Abide With Me. How does one think of the right thing to say at a time like that to so many people in so much peril? Somehow, fuck you. Abide with me, fast falls the even tide. The darkness deepens, dear Lord, with me abide. I feel no foe with thee at hand at rest. described in the stories that came afterwards that this brought an enormous amount of calmness to those in peril. Many were saved and some weren't. Buck showed what resilience and strength looks like under fire. Lest we forget, Voyager, we never will.